look on a map, and you're like, okay, it looks small. And then you get here and you're like, wow, this place is huge. What's up, P Nation? Today we are in Stockholm, Sweden, and it is so nice outside. I cannot wait to explore the city. However, we were brought these beautiful, what are they called? Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. But they don't have icing on them. They have this, like, super crystallized sugar. So it's like like little pearls, almost, of sugar. It looks like big rock salt crystals. Mm -hmm. Rock salt sugar. Yeah, like it would go, like, on a pretzel. pretzel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just had breakfast, and we're about to go into the inner city and find some really cool old architecture. Just like that, four stops later, we have made it to the old town. And it's just like the most adorable little old town. We're kind of here on this island. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, Stockholm is like comprised of a bajillion little islands. Yeah, it's like 13 islands in the city and then the <laughs> suburbs get even more islands. There's water flowing everywhere. But this place is super duper cute. It is just like, it's hard to explain it. Also, it smells like fish and chips all over the place, which really makes me feel like I'm like on the sea. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Old people drinking beer and <laughs> chips, it's great. Everyone's just hanging out having fun. <laughs> And it's so crazy because they let you walk inside and there's like even a little cafe here But we were just kind of considering that like it might be similar to Buckingham Palace and they would never let you inside that I just learned that the Royal Palace has over 600 rooms and it has one more window than Buckingham Palace making it the biggest palace in Europe Christopher II of Denmark killed the King of Sweden in battle. And Christopher II had always thought that he'd been done, and that he and his family had been done really wrong by the Swedes because somehow they pushed his family out of Sweden and they should have had power over it. So when Christopher II finally got power over Sweden, he had a huge banquet to celebrate that he was the new King of Sweden. So in a building right over here, he had a huge banquet and invited 82 dignitaries of sorts in Sweden. And they were like having fun, they were eating, they were drinking. At the very end of the banquet, his guards locked everybody inside and he read off what all of those 82 people had done wrong. Uh, their families had done wrong to his family. So he was blaming them of doing wrong to him and his family. And they, they were all sentenced to death. So this is obviously a very grim story. So what, what happened here in this square is that over the next three days, Christopher II killed every single one of those 82 dignitaries. And this red building behind me has these tan looking stones. You can probably see them. And there are 82 stones. And people think that it's not just a coincidence that these stones represent the 82 dignitaries that were murdered by Christopher II of Denmark.
So behind me is a famous house here in Stockholm. It has housed many famous people, including an artist and also a like metal or steel tycoon here in Stockholm that used to walk down this alleyway every single day. And so apparently his like history about him was lost for a long time and then he like had a resurgence because people started remembering like who he was and what he did for the city. So they named this street after him and it's Martin Martin Strutzig, but it's the smallest street in all of Stockholm. But if you look down it, it looks so cool. We are here at Meatballs for the People for some classic Swedish meatballs. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, I've never had them before. I know IKEA has amazing Swedish meatballs, but I've never had IKEA Swedish meatballs before. So this is the first time I'm ever having it. Other than the times my mom would kind of make this Swedish meatball thing for like an appetizer with like grape jelly. I don't think that really counts because I was an American person making them. So we are here for the real deal. We have not one clue if this is very Swedish, but we noticed behind us there's like this bar that you can make your own crackers. So they have a cracker and like a dill yogurt sauce and then pickled onions and carrots. And it is surprisingly delicious. First Swedish meatball. Making sure to get all the gravy. It smells delicious. the neighborhood of Nycrotucket, I think that's how you say it. I, I'm not really sure, but it is really, really cool. Like we saw the old town, you know, what we're supposed to see in the downtown areas, but it's really when you get in the neighborhoods of the cities you're visiting, they get really, really interesting and you start envisioning yourself like actually living in the city. That's true. And I could definitely see us living in Stockholm. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I say that, but it is the warmest month of the year. The sun is shining, like everyone's that's out true. having fun, sunbathing yeah. on like a Tuesday, which I'm like, oh, maybe that's every day. But winter's a different story. Maybe you're right. Rethink it. Maybe not the best. Summer home. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching this video on our first day in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm sorry for the wind. It has been an amazing day. The sun has been out. It's been awesome. And it's since it's Zach's birthday. We are going home. We are making a little lasagna, which is our absolute favorite. And maybe some brownies and ice cream. So it's been a great day. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. I sure good. Hmm.